everyone. Howdy. <laughs> Welcome back to the Knitting Place podcast. 178. And you can find me. I'm going first. Go for it. I love uh, that. <laughs> Take charge. Take charge. <laughs> <laughs> Pam Sapp on Instagram and Ravelry and Pam Sapp Bands on Facebook. And you can find Dinah at the Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. Correct. And if you, you know, subscribe to the podcast and share the podcast. Tell your friends about it. Yes. We we would love that. <laughs> you know, we often get a lot of messages. Pam, I get a lot of phone calls in the shop mm -hmm. and emails or mm -hmm. notes that come through the web website orders. And people are, a lot of our viewers are always saying that they feel like they're sitting in sitting right across the table from us and that's exactly how we feel when we're sharing yeah, our exactly. content with yeah. with you that we're like all sitting together and absolutely <clears throat> it's really nice so if you know anyone who is a knitter or a crocheter or a crafter and you feel like they might be yearning for some fiber company <laughs> exactly that's what it is fiber friends that's what it is by all means you should definitely share uh I personally am not one to blast a lot of emails or send a lot of no, messages, no, the no, podcast. No, no, no. So we're kind of low key. Low key, exactly. Um, but I try to right. do my best well, to listen, put, get the word out there. Well, you know, not for anything, but you don't want to be one of those people. I find myself going through my emails, deleting, 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 you know. And then you get that message, the ones do you that, want to unsubscribe because yeah. you keep deleting? <laughs> or or I will unsubscribe. Anyway, but needless to say, so yes, share the podcast. So how you doing, Diana? What's going on? Well, I was sick last week. <laughs> well, you you might hear that I'm still a little nasal, but I feel 100% <laughs> better. I shouldn't say 100 because that would mean I wouldn't be nasal. Right, right, right. But a, I'm, lot a lot better than you better. did. A lot better than you did. I had fever, ran fever for two days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was basically a mush in bed. Yep. I did not leave the bedroom for like three days, literally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, watched a lot of TV, binged <laughs> shows. Did you really? I asked the kids, what should I watch? So I think I got two people said, watch one day. And both both of them said, after the fact, I bawled my eyes out. And at that point, I had already... You were really invested in it. Looking for it and invested without reading that. And I'm thinking, why on earth would they have me watch a show where I'm like completely sick and like whatever. Right, right. And miserable. I should be <laughs> miserable and then cry my eyes. <laughs> well, needless to say, I did watch it, binged it. It was okay. Um, it wasn't your favorite. No, it's like a kiddie show, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, but I did start watching True Detective. I don't know that one. Apparently, all the seasons <clears throat> are independent of one another, so you don't have so to watch them in order. So you don't have to watch them in order. Yeah. So Danielle recommended that one. She said her and Isaac watched, and she said start with season four. It's ah. Jodie Foster. She's ah. a fabulous ah. actor. Look at that. What an actress. I haven't seen that. True. De are they, what are they, murder mysteries? Yes. Oh, oh my God. E is each episode one mystery? Like one, or is it? No, it's the series. So it's season deals four. with one particular thing. Yes, I got you. Okay, man, creepy really? stuff. Oh, I don't like creepy stuff. Oh my goodness, if I was I like on the edge that. of my seat. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it again because you really need to pay attention. In the beginning, I was good because I wasn't knitting. Uh -huh. So in the beginning, I wasn't. I didn't really knit a lot this weekend since I've been sick, but. <clears throat> um, I started knitting towards the end of the weekend series, right? And you miss a lot of details. It's one of those shows that are so gripping that you need to like watch. Oh, you need detail. to be paying attention. Yes. You can miss something so easily. Like not everything is said. <laughs> Sometimes they'll like just pan the camera to an important detail. And something... if your eyes aren't on Oh it, my it... goodness. I jumped out of my seat well, so many times. That may not be a good one for knitting. No, not for knitting, but it, it's a good one. <laughs> And then what else did I start to watch? There was the third one. Oh, Suits, Marilyn, forever. She's been telling me to watch oh, Suits. Oh, has she? Yeah. Yes. So I started watching Suits. Did you like it? Love. Good, Good one. Good series. So I'm late to the game on that one. Uh, so yeah, I watched a lot of TV. Good. Well, Fed you know, my brain so much, with 
an interesting knowledge. Well, listen, but... <laughs> you know what? Sometimes your mind just needs that, you know, that rest where you can just watch those things, you know? Yeah, you need to be like a sieve, like just a mush. I, I started watching Anne with an E. Oh, I love that. Is that the best? Well, I'm only on episode six. But don't you adore her? She's so sweet. Oh, my gosh. That's my I show. said to myself, I don't know why I'm watching this because it is. And I, I watch where she gets into these mm -hmm. things, you know, where her friend comes over and they start drinking. She's having a tea and they start drinking. And I'm like, oh, you know, or or when uh, at school, when they're making fun of her at school and all that stuff. So I love that show. Yeah. She's so how cute. Many, how many is it more than one season or what is it? Is it I a, don't remember. I don't even know now. Anyway, but so there's quite a few of them. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, I did start Stick watching the last uh, season of The Crown, but I just haven't felt like going back to that. I didn't finish The Crown. No. I'm a, you have to I, be into it when you're into it. Right. When you start watching it, you know, I was watching, I think I'm at the episode. This is the, the last season. They're more up to date. They're up to Diana and the end of her life, you know. So I think that's why I think in the next episode it's they're going to show. And it's like, who feels like seeing that, you know? It's, and what feel like watching raw. it. Yeah. For me, for some reason, yeah. it's crazy. I always like Diana. Years? Oh gosh, that she's gone. It's probably uh, twenty. I remember 25, watching her wedding. Twenty five. Yeah, right. She got married a month before me. Really? She got married a month before me. I remember watching that? And I feel uh, like the world stopped. And when she had her watched. kids, you know, not. I mean, she had William before I had my first child, but then I had it. So it was like you had kids at the same time. She was always on People magazine. She was always, always on, People on the magazine. cover. Oh so my goodness. Love, Read, following her in People magazine. But now look at Charles. Charles now has some. Now my daughter said to me, they're saying that he is really sick because um, Harry went back to England. Really? Yes, she said. So they, and she's giving me all these, you know how they come up with all these things they watch and that means, you know, and that's, this is what happened when blah, blah, blah. And I said, but you don't know that for sure. But they're not saying what, what. Megan is in suits. Oh, is she? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you know, so Interesting. I don't Interesting. Yeah. So anyway. I didn't know that. Yeah. But well, Emily, well, yeah, she, you know, Charles is sick and Harry went home that I, I didn't know, know that but, he was that serious. So then that must be serious. Well, so then she said to me, well, that, so Emily starts giving me, feeding me, you know, all the conspiracy theory things about oh, what, no. what that means. So that means that he's near the end. And I said, wouldn't that be a kick in the pants for him? Because <laughs> he just became king last year. Huh? After all those years, you know, but. Anyway, that's interesting. <laughs> like I know anything. I know nothing. Do any of us know anything? <laughs> no, no, no. Which go, which is like on point. If you watch season four, yes. of True Detective. Is that right? We're all in the dark. Yeah. It's so you crazy. don't know anything. Yeah. You don't know anything. No, we don't know anything. And even just like you know, people who are in, um, it, it gets you thinking. People who are in authoritative authoritative positions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, you know, if my doctor says something, mm -hmm. if the lawyer well, says you, something, you say, you, if the yeah, police right. says something, right. you know, with yeah. all due respect to everyone's profession, given the fact that, you know, you, you assume everyone is speaking honestly and, you right. know, with good intent, but it doesn't mean they're not even that. It's not even, I mean, yes, honesty and good intent, but may, they may not be the best at what they do. Or... Just because a doctor might make a yeah, referral doesn't mean exactly. Yeah, you have, exactly. Especially when it comes to medical stuff, right. you have to advocate. Yeah. Right. And if you don't, so, it, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, we're getting on, <laughs> going on a tangent here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, redirect. There you go. <laughs> this is a Let's knitting go back podcast. to knitting. Let's go back to knitting. <laughs> what are you wearing? I am wearing something called. T O N A L E tonal tonal with an E tonal tonelli. It's designed uh, by Antonia Shanklin. It's made out of Woolfolk Far, two skeins, one skein, and it's lovely. I met with Antonia on Wednesday, and God bless her. Every time, Antonia, every time you come, you are always blessing me with a little gift. Yep. So this is a new sample in the shop. It's knit with three skeins of Far. Yep. Pattern is free with purchase. Mm -hmm. And... You can do it all in one color, but you need three skeins. Right, 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 right. Lovely, you do right? three different colors. You could put the gray on the bottom, but since I was wearing a gray top, I put the yeah. gray on the top. Looks good. It's very warm. It's 
It's nice, right? Yeah. You have to take it off. <laughs> anyway. Um <clears throat> I'm wearing the shift. I've worn it before. Three Matches skins. your outfit. Yes. I feel like we're also matching today, which we're is matchy, really matchy matchy. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Uh it used three skeins of dyed in the wool. I know I use Ghost Ranch. Cold Comfort. Cold Comfort, I think you used. And I forgot. You, yes. Ghost Ranch. <laughs> Wait a second. Unexpected it stay colors. Out of, it wasn't um, stay, not stay out of the forest. Um, no. What's the other one? Ready. No. Er, uh, Shades of Earth? I don't know. It's in our Facebook group. I really don't know. Don't know but if you're interested, let me know and I'll be happy to DM you. I'll do the research. Don't know. Oh, it had yellow in it. And I tried to get the yellow out. Was that cold comfort? No. Pick your poison. Nope. What was it? It was the color that went with this. It was the color that went with this down here. Wasn't it? Oh, no. Ghost Ranch had yellow in it. Right? Ghost Ranch was the background color. And that's Ghost, Ghost Ranch. Comfort. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. this medium color? Don't know. It's the medium shade that we're unsure of. Don't know. Anyway. You know, they all look different, so, you know. It doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't make a difference, right? But I do love it. There you go. I think I have to make another one. Or should you do the Traveler? I could do the Traveler, Cal. Might be a change, but I yeah. do love, I do love the shift. I Especially could do with the that Traveler, new color Cal. that came in. The bad egg? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We have to show it to them. I know. It's very pretty. <laughs> we'll anyway, show it later. There you go. Anyway, that's what we're wearing. Mm -hmm. Pam, do you have any FOs? I, I do. I see. do. I do. To see where I put it. Well, of course, I feel like my knitting so far in 2024 has been making You've been very requests, successful. I feel like every well, week nothing, nothing. you've done an FO, well, which is fabulous. This it's is. Small. What was that? Yeah, it's small. It's only 12. It's, oh. not, it's not like the other one. It's not like oh. it's not like Dozer, whatever they're calling him. My daughter has a friend. My daughter's a school teacher, and her friend, who's also a teacher, had her second child. And when she had the first one, my daughter knit her a blanket. And the second one, she didn't do anything. So the baby was born probably not last week, the week before, maybe two weeks ago. And she said, Mom, can you make one of those stuffed toys? And I said, well, I'm not making a big one. And Lisa, if you're watching, <laughs> you're just saying. don't be offended. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Um, anyway, so she said no. So she wanted me to make. He's he's a dragon, and his name is Dakota Dragon, actually. Okay. And it's by the same designer. And this is Dakota. Here he is. Now so Dakota is cute. very. You see how cute he is. He's tiny compared the, to the others. The action is on the back. Because there's his tail. Wow, and look and at the wings. wings. And he's got his little bumps up here. And I just did little embroidery eyes. I didn't do button eyes. You're very cute. And there he goes. The only thing that you I would say, his head droops, which is fine. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Is, um, you know, maybe if I was doing it again myself, I would, I would put more stitches where the head meets the body. So it's not as floppy, but I don't know if that would stop it from being floppy. But and that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed this to be... is a signature of the patterns, these right. tied, un yeah, she ties the unstuffed leg. yeah. legs and body. The Super only thing cute. that's stuffed is his head and, and the his tail. tail. So and actually, cute. honestly, the tail you didn't even have to stuff, really. How cute is that? It's so darling. But, you know, they're not hard to make. They're easy to make, but I will be in full disclosure. The head is fine. The um, arms I made twice. The so this is what I mean with that yarn. Yep, the legs I made twice, and the tail I made twice. Why? And the wings I made twice. <laughs> so basically, you you crochet two because dragons. Well, you know, you're interpreting the pattern, and um, I think on this I might have changed the hands. I'm not sure. I think I made them smaller. You see how that sheds? Yeah. Yeah. I just I made to go the, the legs a little bit longer. When I did the tail the first time, my two things weren't lined up. Is that these part of were the... lined up, but this wasn't lined up with these two, and I realized, you know, you got such a few number of stitches, and you're going in the round, and you're carrying two colors. 
That's I, ju right. I made it work then. After that, I, I just, I made it work, you know. Boy, this is going to work. Yeah. And that's it. But I keep thinking. I he's, love it. I he's think he's adorable. Darling. The designer is, um, where you can get the pattern, is um, Mama Made Minis. One word. M-A-M-A. M-A-D-E for made. M-I-N-I-S. She's got a bunch of different ones. And I'll post the link in the show yep. notes. And yep. just for the record, oh, um, I've been getting a lot of DMs. That's what you did. You did a Mama Made Mini. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Emily sent me the link right. of what she wanted. Right. She found it. Yeah. <clears throat> but we always include or try to include the show notes. So if we're ever missing anything, just let us know. Correct. And I will say um, something else. Has, she has now started this designer doing things with more stuffing. Oh, cute. Yeah. I saw one or two of them, but... I just like love full plush toys. Yeah, I, I believe so. That where the body is stuffed. Interesting. But, I mean, the head. Honestly, I made the head in forty minutes. Wow. You know, it's not. It's not hard. The only thing you have to be careful. The assembly is so hard, takes the, the most time in these projects. The assembly can be a biatch. Yeah, it can be a biatch. But you know what? And again, in full disclosure. Um, I love the detail on the wings. Fabulous. Isn't that nice? Very. It is nice. And, I'm, oh, and that's the thing. When I was making them, it was kind of a directional. It was two, it was two pieces. So you had to sew it together? I didn't like the way it looked the first time. I had to whip stitch this together and then whip stitch it onto the body. Oh, my goodness. And with then, the yarn? And then I, what? Yeah, I do with me. It was a killer. Because, the you know, the yarn. Yes, it not, falls apart. I mean, this yarn is a Michael's. Just in case you. Yeah. It's a Michael's. Um, this is the stuff that just every time you t do a stitch. Yeah. It's called Loops and Threads Chenille from Michael's. And nothing against it. Um, but, Except for this. Right. And if you're sewing with it. It yeah. won't fall apart. I, you know, I use that for the babies. And I wouldn't use it again. And um, I'll tell you something else about it, too. But the blanket is I better. tightened up the hook. I tightened up the hook. The blanket is better. Because it does blanket from oh blanket from Burnett yeah yeah so if that you, doesn't yeah. have the shedding it doesn't come up what but I did use this brand for the things on mine right well I think if you're working with it I mean crocheting with it is fine the problem is if you need to rip it out or if you need to sew with it and if I you, agree and if you don't do it tight enough it was all over my sofa you, you're going to have my it. leggings oh, you should see what I look my like my shirt you should see what I look like the two my days I velvet did this. sofa yeah. Oh my, I needed to get vacuum. like the lid. I had a vacuum. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So in any event, and um, a vacuum. Uh, I would use the Burnett blanket if I were going to do it. And, but finding um, their colors is well, not the, easy. Well, the reason I went with it, this was because of the colors when yeah. I did it for the baby. And this was left over from the I feel from like the, the variety blanket. of colors in that brand is better. But, but there's got to be other colors you can use too, so... I don't know. I wonder what Super yarn cute. she used, if if she uses, if she says what yarn she uses. Anyway, so this is... When I go to Germany, to Cologne... You should look and see. I'm going to look for look different... I'm definitely going to yeah, do that. Yeah. You know... Um, I've been getting requests for this kind of stuff. Or even like a... Yeah. I'm going to look for different it's things. Nice to, I mean, like I would have made the baby a blanket with my leftovers, but do you want to know what I did with them? I just threw them out. What leftovers? From... From Reese's animal. All the leftover? Why? Because it's what's what good is it? How it's much like, did I you make this? Well, how much do oh, you I use? Know, you, you I know. have a tub. Well, you have it. That's what I had. I had a tub. I don't have any place to put it. I threw it out. I kept this to make this and I have this leftover and I'm a little um I'm not gonna get rid of that because just in case I need to do a repair or something. I was gonna, I was gonna say maybe I'll have another request request <laughs> no 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 if i have a request i'll go by the yarn i like but i was going to say something about this so he is dakota dragon and um he's just lovely and i think the baby is going to love him i, I really agree. do what's not to love Great he's like you know what they call he's Audrey. like a lovey this he's is like the size of a lovey exactly right they say 12 inches i didn't measure it but i would say it's he's about enough. 12 yeah. inches he looks like close enough so anyway, anyway dakota's going to bed he's going back to bed i feel like i'm uh, sherry 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 with, sherry with lamb chops with lamb chop. <laughs> putting him to bed oh. anyway so i was glad i still had him to show on the podcast because that was an that was an accomplishment once i did that i felt like i could do other stuff you know so that's my FO. Do you have any FOs? Do you have any whips? Show us I a have whip. Whips. She's working on one right well, now. Well, uh, this one I want to try to finish and get to the end of the row. Why don't you start with whips? A whip? Well, 
I, I will have my thing here. Well, what? You should show something. Here it is. You want me to take it out? No. You got I have it, it right Go here. Ahead. This is my Musselberg. <clears throat> Getting close to the end. What's shiv in there? I did. I was hoping I'd have it done, but it's not. That's okay. Yeah. So. I just wasn't up to knitting as much as I would have liked to. Everyone says, Well, sometimes, well, you know, I find with these projects, I say, oh, I don't feel like doing it. And then I pick it up, and it takes me about 10 minutes to get into it. And once I get into it, it then it's a boom. Then, I, then I'm, I feel like doing it, you yeah. know. Don't you find that? Yeah. I, I went to breakfast sure. yesterday. I took it out. I took it with me. And once I start it, then I start knitting. I know, but you know? I... I just was watching TV. Well, yeah, that's different. literally you weren't feeling well. Yeah, I mean, like I had hoped by this epi by this episode that I would have been up to the other color, but yep. I just didn't. And what is the other color? Share with us, please. Oh, I'm sorry. So this is the Musselberg. I'm doing it in a two tone, like my original Musselberg. Yep. Half in fingering weight, half in fula fula. Although for this hat, I'm using half dyed in the wool. And half Billow. Billow is a retired yarn by the company Shibui. And we have a quite large selection. Uh, all the inventory is now available on the website. It's called Billow. B-I-L-L-O-W. -B tell them about Billow. What is it? Billow is <clears throat> 250 yards per skein. It's a... 21 stitch gauge on a US number six needle. I'm knitting the hat on a size three, believe it or not, or four, I don't remember. And I'm getting the gauge to the gauge that I liked. I don't remember what it was. Well, exactly. the hat comes with different gauges. So. Right. I think it was seven, nine, yeah, yeah, eight, seven, six, six and a half. Nine somewhere. down to five, I think. Yeah, so yeah. there's quite a range to do depending the on the yarn you're using. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went with the gauge that I liked, with the needle that I liked, and I'm going to do the second half with this yarn here. Uh, I intend to have a lip, as I do with this one. Yeah, and the ability to turn up. And the, right. I'm hoping to have a slightly deeper slouch. So when I, what I mean by a lip is like this little I-cord, not I-cord, but this little rim that's going of the inside colors yeah to amp, that's amp. going on underneath and then have the opportunity to fold it over what was that yarn you used on the top this one mm. this one was i think was shitita was it i think so too yeah i think it was a new shitita color mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken but this was fingering weight and i'm using sport weight for this one mm -hmm. so we do have kits and we will cover that later yep okay that's one whip <laughs> and while well, she's showing her Musselberg, I'll show my Musselberg. And I remember I said yesterday, how last week, how is this thing going to color out? I think this oh, is wow. what it's going to do. Last week, remember I was up here? Yes. I had that. Is it a spiral? I think it's a spiral. <gasps> now, like a barber pole? Now it's here. I don't know if it's a barber pole, but I think that's how it's going to... See, I had to have it there. Yeah, but look, now it's gray here. Mm -hmm. It is going to be a barber pole. Mm-hmm. So Interesting. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you gonna continue? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think uh, I shouldn't? You think I should take it out? No, I think you should leave it. I'm too invested in it at this point. I mean, I did this whole this whole top. The top is hard. The top is a scutcheroni. It's not hard. Don't get me wrong. But you know, I did mine on DPNs. <clears throat> I didn't do it in magic. Did you do magic loop? No way. No, DPNs I did DPNs, and it was fine. You know, but. It's fine, but I don't know. I was organizing my closet this weekend. Yeah, you'd mentioned that. So I have these, these, these. What'd you find? <laughs> it's just a bunch of stuff. But I said, well, I wonder if I have any other yarn in there that I could make a Musselberg out of. Okay. You know, that's what I. The that's second a, the one point. or? No, a, another one. Oh. In addition to this. Because sometimes you get some nice skeins. You say, oh, that make a nice, uh, you know, Musselberg. a nice Musselberg. I mean, they're fine. But did I find anything what you else? I don't know. I mean, what do you guys it. think? You think I should keep making this? I'm going to get that white stripe going around. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. Well, whatever. It is what it is at this point. I think once you do another I'm just session gonna keep, and see I'm just going to keep doing it. Yeah. 
You should knit. I'm just going to keep doing it. So anyway, that's an F, That's a, a a whip of mine. What do you have, Diane? I have. Don't laugh. Well, I don't know if it's attached. It might still be attached. Okay. That's I it. completed. Oh yay! The yay. front and back. Ooh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Diane. Pam. The front and back on my pressed flowers. You haven't sewn it yet, though. No. <coughs> the shoulder seams are not sewn. But you have to sew them before you. I do need pick to. Up a sleeve, yes, right? I need to assemble the shoulders. Back looks pretty, Dinah. Yeah, the back, back looks very pretty. pretty. Let me see the, the front. Pretty. Let me see the front. front nice. Is also pretty. Nice. Um, and then once I sew the shoulders, I'll be able to pick up and knit in the round. And the arm the has sleeves. the pattern in it, right? Yes, the pressed flowers. Yep, it goes all the way throughout. And then it finishes. The sleeve finishes off with a border, and then you get this ribbed border. Going around, you have I the really ribbing. Do love it. You have the ribbing on the um, sleeve, sleeve you're talking as well about. As, yeah, the button board. And you pick up then for the band. I love it. So the band knits out this way, the ribbing, right? Correct. Nice. So, uh, if anything, that at least made me feel a little bit accomplished. Yeah. Well, you got the body of the sweater done. That's a lot. Yeah. You have to do the sleeve. So, that's my pressed flowers progress i think we got a message saying could you please let us know what yarns and the designers so this is the press flowers <coughs> it's designed by amy christophers uh you'll see the title on the screen she's also known as savory knitting mm. uh the yarns that i used for this particular project rowan felted tweed for the background mm -hmm. or the main color mm -hmm. and then spin cycle is my contrast color inside the colorway that i used here was pop click uh, if i go closer you'll see that there's some green that pops through however it wasn't as green as i, I had think hoped it was it would perfect be. though Diana, I really thank did. you it was perfect yeah great colorway so i'm quite pleased this is a fun project uh, i think pretty much the people in the group are enjoying it from what i understand uh, you become comfortable with the mosaic motif right, right, and right, right. it doesn't feel like you are always married to the mm -hmm, chart, mm -hmm. which is really, which is nice, lovely because yeah. you build confidence as you're knitting. Yeah. So this is a great project. If you haven't done any of the press members flowers. of the pressed flower <laughs> press family, press flowers family. family, I highly <laughs> recommend it. It's super fun. There you go. That's that way. The nice thing about the Rowan felted tweed, which is the yarn Dinah used in the main color, is it's very, it's non superwash. It's very light. Excuse yes, me, light yarn. It's so it's a not heavy a heavy sweater at all, which I like. So my next whip and my last whip is my, you know that Dinah and I are hosting um, a Vertices Unite Zoom. Yes. Knit along, excuse me, Zoom knit along. That's starting tomorrow evening. Um, it's the first of three classes, right? Yes, right. it's a three-class series. Correct. So um, it's very interesting. We have a bunch of people in the group. They've been chit-chatting for like I the past week. I have to say, yeah. it's such an active group. It is a very active group. I right? love it. Right, and I love that they post their colors. They interact with one another. Yeah, they, 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 share they ask, advice. what do you think, and blah, blah, blah. And, and now a few people have started it, which is always nice. And um, so there you go. So I started mine. Just what? I want to just say in advance, thank you to those of you who really don't need the, the class. Oh. It is so <laughs> nice when you support us just because you want to be part of our group and our uh, the camaraderie and interacting. It makes us feel good. We appreciate you. So thank you. There you go. I just had to say that. There you go. So it's a five color project, and you know, it's a Stephen West, in case you didn't know. But anyway. Do you have all your colors here? You know, it's funny you say that. I'm just looking for my fifth color. I thought I had it, but I have to look. Maybe he fe it fell into the bottom of this bag. I thought I had it and drop it somewhere. Actually, no, this bag was separate. It's my chicory I'm missing. Anyway, this is the first mm. section. Um, where's the right wow, side? Wow, you right did side. so much. Is that the right Are you side? nearly done? Well, You're done. done. Everything is relative up until the decrease. I have to start that's decreasing. That's what I meant. Yeah, no, I didn't do the decrease. That's no. crazy. You've gotten no. so much done. So that's the first part of it. And then um, 
I think I have maybe two more stitches to increase, then I start decreasing. So this is the Vertices Unite Shawl. And the colors I am using, uh, this is bronze from Suburban. And this is, um, is, is it cozy? Or is this cozy? Cozy. This is, co oh, this is cozy from Suburban. So it's these two colors. And that looks like this. So the first section, you have to stripe out the colors. It's two rows and two rows. There you go. You can see so it, as yeah. you can see, it's striped out. When Pam right. pulls her piece back, it's, you can, it's it go kind, ahead. Of, kind of blends. You can see that those um, colors are very close together. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's not giving you a very, it's giving you a very subtle striped. Um, Versus me having used a color like a, stripe a cream and a, and a black or something. It's low contrast. Low I contrast. couldn't think of the words, right. <clears throat> right. So anyway, so I have that to do. And then my next two colors are these, which is um, Baroque from... It's from uh, Ruby and Roses. Beautiful. And Dusty Pink from Suburban. So you can see my colors. And then there's a chicory, a golden color. Yeah. I don't know what I did with it. I carried this separate. So either I didn't put it in or it, it's in the car. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to look in the back. Maybe it fell out in the back. No, well, maybe I took it out in the back. Let me go look. Hold okay. on. I might have taken it out. <clears throat> I do want to share that it's not too late to sign up in case you feel the urge to join. You don't need to knit the project. Maybe this is something that's in your queue for the future. Uh, the Vertices Unite Cal can be purchased separately. We've, we always let you know that you don't have to buy a kit from us to participate. However, if you do purchase a kit, it doesn't also mean that you get an automatic entrance. Um, it is a paid uh, cow. Pam and I invest time in doing the videos and working with you. Most often, if not, we are knitting it along with you, which takes a lot of time. So uh, we hope or appreciate you in advance understanding that it is a paid knit along. Uh, sometimes we don't give... In the past, when we first started with our knit-alongs, it was really just let's gather around and sit and knit together or knit a project along together. But now, actually, that's not true. What were you going to say? When we did our Marseille, was that a paid knit-along or was it free? That was free. Marseille? Marseille. Yeah. Marseille, Marseille. I was saying it wrong. <laughs> I know. Someone corrected us. We used to say it right. I, I think that was a... A, f a free one. A free one. I think right. that was a free one. So we started charging. Um, well, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, you know, it is a, um, you know, it's consuming. Not, right. It's not like, you know, we're always knitting it. If like I didn't do press flowers, Dinah did, but I did. Like when we did the curry, I did the curry, but you had made the curry already. Right, and I so hadn't not, done it. It's not live. something that we're just looking at a pattern. And, you know, so it, but it's fun. You know, we enjoy doing it. So if we didn't enjoy doing it, it wouldn't make a difference. We wouldn't do it. <laughs> right. So anyway, this is my <coughs> almost done first section of uh, Vertices Unite. And as you can see, my colors are, I did not go for high contrast colors. Did you find it? No, I did not. Really? It's got to be at home or in the car. I'm hoping it's at home. Um, chicory, it's a golden color. I could show you this and tell you it's like this, but... There it is. Oh, there it is. It's sitting right there, Dinah. <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so these are my colors. You these... must have taken it out in yes. anticipation. These are my colors. Now you can see these two are close. Um... They're probably not as close as they, as they look on screen, but um, like this color bronze has some of this gold in it, and this color has threads of this going through it, and I didn't want a high contrast piece. So anyway, did you swatch in know. all of your colors? No, nope, I did not. Just curious. No, no. It's I did a work. swatch, but yeah. I, well, my Your feeling is adult. someone in the group posted the other day that her D, I think it's the D, is supposed to be your edging, your I-cord edging. And she was talking about that she didn't want, you know, 
such and such was a D and she didn't know she might change the color because she didn't want it for edging. I said, you could still put D in your shawl, but just pick another color for the edging. You don't Doesn't have to make a difference. You don't schematic. have to be married right. to the D. Hundred percent. You know, like I don't know what color my edging is going to be. I, I, I can tell you it'll probably be either this color or this color. But I'm not going to make that decision now. Watch, I make it this color. <laughs> I have no idea. But You'll my point later. is, it doesn't make a difference. It's right. whatever I think looks best. And so when I start my next section, my CD, which is going to be this, if I start it and I don't like it, I can stop it. I can decide I don't want to stripe that section. I just want it to be this color. Right? Right. So you can do whatever you want. It's your, it's your scarf, your shawl, excuse me. And there you go. So that's it. That's Love my it. that's my last whip. To so show I have you. wound my colors. <clears throat> I've been swatching, but I've yet to decide which colors will go where. Uh, I could show you the beginning of one of my swatches if you'd like. Uh, let's see. That was one of the things that I worked on while I was home. Was you swatching? Swatching. Yeah. That, I. Uh, yeah. 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 Here's like. Nice. Let me see. Pretty. Do you like it? I'm not a fan of this color up here. What color is that? It's a speckled color. So that it's one. the color up here. Mm. And I don't know if it's because it's just too small, not representative, because that is the piece that's actually the largest. The, the largest piece, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's hard because, again, I'm only looking at a small section of it, maybe in a larger piece. I should probably just stick to this format. Which format? This one. Right. Well, you know you like this. I love that. And, and, that, I love and that's this. what you're starting with. Right. So that, that your first the two other, sections. Right. Yeah, you can always change that other one yes. if you don't like it. Um, Shaggy was watching. Uh, Shaggy, <laughs> I, can't, I keep calling Call him Shaggy. Shaggy. Oh, he's so funny, Diana. <laughs> Bear did not leave my side while I was sick. Oh, look in bed. at that! Look at that! He would go what do his boy. business. He'd come running upstairs like he was like my security blanket. <laughs> it was good. crazy. That's great. Super cute. Uh, so I had practiced striping out my first section. That was one. No, I don't like that. <laughs> um, that was one option. That was the same option. This was two. That's the one you went with. That's the one I went with. And I had done this too. So the it that was the third the third I went with the third option. That was option number two. This is option two. Yeah. Let me see that again. Turn it this way. Not bad. But I think the other one's bad. Yeah, it's like very dark. Anyway. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So I started my thing for the class, the little swatch. Which one? At a DK weight. Oh, God, <laughs> I love you. Pam, thank you so much. Is that instead of doing your heirloom card? <laughs> exactly. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, oh. It was very tempting. I found this not oh. with it in another drawer. Oh, could you clean out your closet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I said, you know, I said, I'm not going to stress over what colors I pick because, of course, I'm looking at it like, what difference does it make? But I wanted them to be lighter so you could see. Perfect. So my point is I did a mini swatch from Stephen's Pattern so that we could use this for the class tomorrow night when we show it because thank you, Stephen for doing that work for us because it makes it so much easier doesn't it literally because we can use a mini you know not that we're not we're making the whole thing but the point is you know you want to show in the the sections and there's no reason for me to go further than this because I'll show the pickup for this next section 100% right, right. and then, thank you Pam you're welcome Danny God bless you <laughs> I don't even have to cast on. <laughs> there you go. You don't even have to do it. Oh, my goodness. I'm having but um, so anyway, so oh that's what I've done. Not that I don't have more. Of course, I haven't picked up my lip. Oh, but I should say I have continued working on Patrice's blanket. Oh, have you made progress? I've done. I've did you probably, change the hook size? I did. Okay. I went up. I probably have done. Um, well, when I picked it up, I was at like 25 or 26 inches. Now I'm at about 35 inches. Or 30. I've done about 10 inches. I've done maybe 12, 13 rows. And um, I figure if I do a row a day, you know, 
uh, like on a weekend, I could do two a day. So if I do a row a day, you know, you figure if I do another 30 rows, the blanket's done. Not even. So a month. Right. Right, I'm sorry. Right, right. I don't it's mean okay. to be distracted. We're going to my mom's tonight for pizza. Okay. So while I've been podcasting, you get my messages. Mom called, <laughs> Zach called. We're all trying, you know, timing the dough and the pizza and the sauce. Okay. And I will say, just going back to that blanket, um, one um, someone who watches it, Debbie, her name is, she knows the woman whose yarn that is. Didn't she send you the link of the yarn shop where? Someone she, who I, I heard from me. more than one person. That's Debbie great. messaged me in a DM. Okay. And um, she That's told so me awesome. she because I think Debbie saw. She said I saw you at Rhinebeck. Remember she was at Rhinebeck. That woman, the last time we saw her, she was in the building, the little building. She was in the yes, 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 yes not yes. in Rhinebeck. And the thing at is, she, Rhinebeck. she uses, I want to say, ocean water or sea. Yes. She uses sea water to dye the yarn, and she dries it in the, in the sun. sun is her thing and um, she had her name and I should I should say who it is in case anyone is interested I can I, we could put in a link I'll put it yeah I'll, I'll give Dinah the link for it um, text it to me I will I will and uh, but that was very nice thank you very much for telling me that because she said that I did remember I even remember where she was she was right by the door she was way she was <laughs> The things we remember. She was. <laughs> anyway, so we'll put that link in the in the show notes. You know, that was at the Christy Glass. The Christy Glass. The, the Christy Glass event um, that we waited event on. That we waited that was on fun. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very was sweet. The woman, very nice. Anyway, there you go. <clears throat> okay, Good. I am. That was the event that the swing. We took a picture yes, of the swing. Yes, that was yes, yes. So on fun. the swing. Yeah. Okay, I. I'm working on my artist. I didn't get very far. It's very pretty, Dinah. Thank you. This is it. Very pretty. Um, it's, wow, it's big. Mm -hmm. So, I am on the final chart, believe it or not. I'm halfway through. I have another half of the chart to that. go. Let me hold it up I want to see way. the bottom section. So you have... You have this one and a pink I basically and gold, have this part to do. Pink and green, purple and green. Now you're back to purple and I'm gold. finishing off the chartreuse diamond, which is up here, and then I do the dark green. So it's this part of the chart. So what do you I so wait a second? Do. So here you've got the purple inside the, the big diamond. Purple is done. I just cut that out. Now what and do you now have to I'm do? finishing this diamond, which is with, with what's in it? The chartreuse. And it's oh. going to be with the dark With olive. this up here, yeah. those two colors. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, it's not really on screen. That makes sense. This is bigger than my torso. <laughs> but I'm so but happy. you'll have fun wearing yes, that. Yes, I definitely will. That's like a conversation piece. You could keep that in your den. You it's know, like and art. when you're watching TV love, or something, love, if you're chilly, it. wrap yourself in it, don't you think? So now, <clears throat> I don't know. This is so big. Being sick really put a monkey wrench in my plans oh, because I wanted to be done with this by the end of the month. I'm not going to be. No, no, This no, was no. when you the knit along ends. Yeah, no. I know. That's uh, when the knit along ends. But I'm not part of the knit along anyway. I was just knitting it in spirit. Yeah. And it's okay. There it is. That's like a good. That's a good picture. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I really yeah. do love it. You can love that. So I'm going to be closed for a week. Starting Wednesday to Wednesday, I will be back March 7th. I know I'm not good at making announcements or sending emails, but I'm saying it now. <laughs> so if you call and leave a message, I will not be here. If you show up at the door, I will not be here. Don't be no one to open the door. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <clears throat> so I apologize. I will reopen on March 7th, and we will... It's only March Take it from 7th. there. Jeez. Isn't that crazy that it's already March 7th? You know, March like, 10th, we change the clocks. That's my mom's birthday. March 10th? Mm -hmm. yes, she gains and she loses an hour. Excuse she me. loses an hour. She loses an hour. Um, <laughs> okay. That's the announcement that I want to make. So there my question go. is, do I take this away with me? It's big. I could just take vertices. Well, you could. That would be boring, though. And I could take... Your hat. The hat is... 
I could definitely take. That's good airplane knitting. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, it, the, the quest, my, the whole, my whole thing would be the size of it. Is that going to be a problem? This is a problem. Pressed flowers is a problem because they're all oh, bigger. Oh, yeah, with the sleeve. Yeah. Mm. And then I said I would test knit. And now oh, I'm wondering Jesus, if I'm running. I, I don't think I can. Oh, Jesus. I was, I, I overcommitted. I don't know if you can. As I usually do. Was it for a sweater? It was for Natasha's sweater, yeah, unfortunately. A cardigan or a pullover? The pullover. Oh, well. So I have decisions to make. She so does. I, don't know I, if I think you have to eliminate done. some clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> okay. You have to stop and think. Are you going to be able. That and your sweater are going to require a bit of concentration. Concentration. Yeah. Well, it's Maybe a ski vacation, shawl. and I'm not going skiing. Well, then you can do But it. I will be doing... <laughs> no, I shouldn't say I'm not doing downhill skiing. What are you doing? I might do cross-country or snowshoeing. Well, cross-country is nice, But yeah. I will have some time. I'll have downtime, but I'm not planning on sitting and knitting all day. I'm on vacation. Like, Correct. I'm going... But if you did have time to knit, would one of those projects because I know sometimes I'm in the same predicament I want to take that that's the thing I want to take with I me I want to take something mine but with. yet when I get there to do it it's not mine I would take one of them yeah I can't take both I would take one of them decide which one you want to take well my pressed flowers is mindless because I already have the pattern the motif committed so then do the pressed flowers yeah do the pressed flowers we'll see Okay, let's talk new stuff. Yes, let's talk new Because we've stuff got some sure. lovely new things to share. What do you want to do first, then? Um, let's start with CoCon. Okay. We had done an Instagram Live sharing the new CoCon collection. It's Michelle's Hydrangea collection. And oh my goodness, she knocked it out of the park. A lot of the colors are practically sold out. I might have a skein of a color to show you, but not enough to even fulfill the orders that came through. So if you are waiting for an order, that means you are waiting for the next batch. It just sold faster than we could stock it. And uh, there's a good reason why. It's mm -hmm. magnificent. Do you want to pull through this lens? Uh, are you going to do that first? doesn't matter. These are organic f fingering and organic mohair lace. It, the organic fingering has 437 yards, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 450. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then the mohair has 459. Each of the colors comes with a fingering weight and a matching mohair. They're all purchased individually. You can knit it single. You can knit a double or single, as you wish pattern support. There was no pattern specifically designed for this magnificent yarn, but my goodness, go through Ravelry. There are so many beautiful patterns that this yarn would just look so beautiful in. Uh, we had just done, I, I mean, we just... We said Birds of a Feather. <clears throat> we said Rocketee. We said Love Note. Yes, but we also just made, for example, we used another yarn brand to do oh, yeah. Rebel Rebel. This would be stunning in a Rebel Rebel cardigan. This would be yeah. stunning in the Tresoro knit alone. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to do a mohair top, a mohair shawl, stunning. You knit them together, one and one, and you can get a beautiful ranunculus. You can do a love note. So the possibilities are endless. Uh, of course, we're naming patterns that are more... Um, common but you can certainly do a no frill sweater yep. i mean there's so many things yep. just stunning so anyway this first and colorway what were you going to say never mind do I'll, we'll do it after okay mm -hmm. this is uh lavender meadow and as you can see she's got the lavender and then she's got these beautiful flower um like floral specks going through it it is just gorgeous i had a customer in today and she basically said, it's more beautiful in person, yeah. but the camera just doesn't even do it justice. So absolutely stunning. Lavender Meadow. This is Peach Bouquet. And again, it's the same thing. If you flip this around, look at those pastels that are in there. There's this little green, there's peach, there's a little pink. 
How pretty so is that? romantic looking. Yeah. And peach is the color of the year. Yep, there you go. Peach bouquet. Peach bouquet. Next up, spring morning. Beautiful shade of green. How would you describe that shade? It's almost like a celery. It's very pretty. Stunning. Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Mm -hmm. And you'll see the speckles and the floral hydrangea colors going throughout. This one is called Pink Flower Medley, and it's a very del delicately speckled, right? Green yes. with, you see the pinks and the lavenders and the green. It's very, very subtle and a matching mohair. And if you hold that there for a second, this is the Blue Flower Medley, which just hues blue mm -hmm. and that option hues pink. Yep. Stunning. So there you go. Now, there are also some solids, solids. which Diana's going to show you. Here you go. Do you want to bring the matching mohair? Yep. Here go. So here. we have solids. A lot of these colors sold in the um, Vertices Unite. We have customers who actually decided to even pair it and knit it double. This is Purple Cloud. Blush Pink. And this one is... Is it blush or bluish? Blush. Bluish would be ISH. I think I wrote bluish in the thing. <laughs> and this is um, sand something. Sand castle? Haze. Sand castle haze. Um, and then there is... Oh, go ahead, Diana. There's also a green. Now, the sea green mist. We have the fingering base. The mohair did not come in. Right. So that's coming in in the next order, as well as the restock in a lot of the other colors. So right. if there is something that you want, um, I apologize if it didn't go out yet. And there's a limited batch that's coming in again. So if you want it. So again, what I was saying, you could do a, um, a rocket tee if you want. 100%. Tonal. Tonal. Or you could do it the other way if you wanted. I guess you could use the fingering Stunning. with this and then do the mohair solid, whichever way you prefer. But anyway, a lot of choices, a lot of choices. This would be a lovely um, birds of a feather. Oh, too, would be lovely that lavender is just... It's a nice lavender, you know. Magnificent. It's, it's not like a... Um, it's a nice lavender. It's soft. Yeah, it's not glaring. It's just a very soft... If there's a basic lavender, that's it. Anyway, so that's. Do you a, want to give me the bag and I'll sure, put them away? Sure, sure, sure. Um, so that's the cocon we wanted to show you. What did you want to do next, Diana? Uh, you want to show them Rebel Rebel? Sure. Um, Rebel Rebel came. How did you. Was this through Grace that you learned about Rebel Rebel? No, we had mentioned we it. We had mentioned it. Right? And know. then at Knit Cafe. At the Knit, ca knit Cafe. Listen the, knit, to me. The, the knitting at the cafe. Yes. <laughs> It came she up. had mentioned that yeah. she wanted to knit it. So that's how it came up. It's a cute little, I, I well, you could wear it year round, but it's especially springtime, um, a great little cardigan. Uh, no buttons, just open front, three quarter sleeves. It has a little, if you see, it has a little split there at the sleeve. It's very French cute. French cuff. Vibe. Is that what that is? I, not really, but that kind of vibe. Right. And um, there you go. So it does have a drop, drop shoulder. And it uses fingering weight yarn. So Dinah and I, when we saw that we had the beautiful yarn from Ruby and Roses, we thought, gee, the speckles would be great for that. And that's what we did. We made kits. Um, we made kits. Our kits go up to a size 48. Yes. Um, Pattern and, is always sold separately. Correct. So again, this is Rebel Rebel. It's designed by Libby Johnson, otherwise known as Truly Myrtle. Truly Myrtle. Here you go. This is, yeah, you do that, and it's too big. Deep affection. How gorgeous is that? What a rich color. Mm -hmm. And this is a 437 yard skein. If you're looking at the yardage comparisons, um, it's an 8515 Merino uh, nylon blend. So that's color number one. Here, Diane, let's start with that one. The next colorway is called Bungalow beautiful shade of gold with the magnificent magnificent speckles running through it beautiful i see burgundy dark forest green, green. 
uh, the sh the layers of the like rusty kind of colors in there. The golden colorway is just gorgeous. This would be gorgeous. It would be this, beautiful in that sweater. Is this reminiscent of the cover? The color that she had done hers in? Well, well maybe because of the gold. Of yellowy, yeah. Stunning. Yeah, it's very pretty. Gorgeous. The colorway is called Bungalow by Ruby and Roses. Next up, Cosmopolitan. Like the drink. <laughs> you know where Pam's head is going. <laughs> beautiful right. shade of pink. Uh, you'll see the layers speckles. of the, yes, um, like a raspberry, a deep wine, or a Bordeaux. Great layering mm. and color also. Look at this one. Look at that burgundy in there that you're saying. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Pretty. Is there any black in there? I can't quite tell. I don't know. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, okay, here's another one. Next up is a colorway called Piccolo. Love this. Great brights going mm. through it. Great with a pair of jeans. Right? It's like a periwinkle. It's got pinks and greens and um, fuchsia. Fuchsia. Yeah. Light Going pink. Into purple. Yes. Purple speckles. Like it's turquoise, nice. tealy green. That's piccolo. I like this one too. Something about this one I like. Yes. It's soft. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying that because when you see the color, you're going to be like, what? So it's got the neon speckles going through it. And it's, would you say like a mint green? Yeah. It's not mint. Maybe. Yeah. Like a blue mint. Very pretty. But then it's got specks of teal and fuchsia in it with some like yeah, neon yeah. lime. I love colors it. What's going on in there? So good. Headspace. Lovely. That's a good one. There are two more. And one is called, I'm going to get the one that's called Party Dress first then. Okay. This one here is called Party Dress. It's basically, I would say like a vanilla color. Mm, love that and then color. It's got pink, raspberry, almost like a black, a charcoal it does gray. Have, yeah. Speckle running through it. So very soft looking. Here. You see that down there? Yep. Look at that. Pretty speckles. Very pretty. That's party dress. And I will say. Despite the fact that the skeins look consistent, I would really recommend with any hand dyed yarn is alternating skeins to give a more even um, look to your knitting. Avoid ball banding. Uh, it's important to do that. This colorway is called Lucy. Let's go close, Pam. How much fun is this? This is fun. It's a beautiful shade of orange. It's got, again, like a pinks, Kelly green, yeah. pinks, yellow. Mm hmm. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Look at Very this, pretty. Look at it down there. Isn't that pretty? Rotate the skein so you can see all and the beautiful colors. And it's almost like, you know, it's got orange, but if you go up there, it's almost like a light coral coral color. Very yeah. pretty. Mm -hmm. So that's Rebel Rebel. Santa told you from, um, what's her first name? Libby, Libby Johnson. J-O-N-S-O-N. So cute cardigan. It's interesting. She recommends that you check your measurements for this piece based on your shoulders. Pam and I did that. Just we went through the exercise. <laughs> we decided that we would just go with our finished bust measurement. Yeah, exactly. Because based on our shoulders, we should be doing a size, what, 48? Something like that. Something like that. And, it, you know, it's going to drop down. So I guess the thing is to look and see. But Still, you know, look at your bust measurement as well because, and, and just keep in mind, it's not a closed cardigan. You're wearing it open. So right. that may change the size you do. Well, I don't know well, about that. I think mm, it also. Right, it might change the size. But it was also a lot of positive ease, wasn't it? She didn't talk about yeah, on the shoulders, but yes. she didn't talk, she didn't, she doesn't mention. But that mention, would give you more positive right, ease because right, if right. your drop shoulder is here, mm -hmm. your bust is here. Correct. And this, um, it's hard to see in the picture, but this model is wearing a 36 bust, it says. And you can She's see, petite. it's hard to see because it's all the same color, but her sleeve starts like over there. You right. know? Which is where the bust. Correct. The bust is. So anyway, you do you. <laughs> Next up, Stephen West dropped a new shawl pattern. It's called Striation Valley Shawl. Good old Stephen. He's got such great... Look at that. That is a great Just pattern. stunning. So we fell in love. It's a magnificent shawl. Mm -hmm. It's got different 
um, textured patterns. I see feather and fan. I see a chevron stitch. He's got his uh, eyelet stitch in there. Smaller which is eyelets, really bigger eyelets. Mm -hmm. He's alternating skeins throughout. He's alternating fingering with fingering, and then he's also alternate, alternating in some sections fingering with mohair. Correct. So the kits that we, um, the kits all in, composed of four skeins of fingering weight yarn mm -hmm. in somewhat of a gradient or a faded um, like order, mm -hmm. and then we used a coordinating mohair. So hopefully you'll find them pretty and attractive, and maybe some will appeal to you. I wonder if any Jeez. of you are knitting the shawl. Mm. He has, if, you, if you're interested, he has a YouTube video, video up where yes, he talks about did watch. the <clears throat> shawl. So you can watch that as well. These are three, four colors from Ruby and Roses. It's Ruby Cheeks. Rosy Cheeks. Rosy Cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> Siesta. Mirror and typewriter. And that would be with a mohair from Kokan called Blush Pink. <laughs> I'm laughing because I called it bluish pink. I don't know why. It must have been a typo. And I'm thinking. Well, sometimes there are words you look like that, and you could you have to look at it twice. Anyway, oh lovely, lovely. That's pinks. a pretty kit. Yep, goes into gray, and then this is a great color. This typewriter because it's almost like a. Why don't purpley. you sit and I'll hand you the kits? Why? No, Diana, I got it. Cause hey, it's, let's not go out of order. Let's just say. Okay. You can do it. Quickly, this, this is way. Rose Elizabeth Taylor, Wino Forever, and the Feels. I love this kit. Yeah, that and is this a pretty mohair. One. You want to mm -hmm. do show the mohair? Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Is that called Vintage Something? It's called Neon City. Neon City, the other one is. There that you is go. gorgeous. It's a beautiful kit. You got it? Yep. So, for example, well, I'll tell you in a second. This next kit is Frost, Neptune. What's that one? Cadet and oh, no. Tuva and Tuva Cadet. And Cadet. There you go. So what he's yeah. doing is he's alternating two skeins. Two, well, yeah, two skeins and two skeins. Mm -hmm. And then the mohair will alternate with one and one. So what do you one, mean with one and one? So meaning you have two sections, right? Mm -hmm. What from what I could make of it, there's a two color, a two color, and mohair is going in between. You pick one of these to do a mohair, and then one of these to do a mohair. Oh, nice. Yeah, and mohair might play with. I didn't read the the whole pattern throughout, but mm -hmm. they're paired. Mm -hmm. It's Good. pretty nice. That's a beautiful. So color. that's why the mohair just kind of picks up with all the colors. I hope I explained that right. Okay, next up. This kit here is called Lovely, Dusty Pink, Cozy, and Bronze. Lovely, Dusty Pink, Cozy, and Bronze. That's the vintage truffle. Yeah. That's a perfect That's color. That's a great name. Oh, isn't that a great kit? It's a great kit. This one is by Suburban Stitcher. Mm -hmm. And the mohair is for Moondrake. Okay. This next kit is for all you red lovers. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. We have Kana, Flora, Daydream, and Rosy Cheeks. And this is the mohair, Sprite Minute. From Cake Wall. Ooh, perfect. That's pretty. That photographed that's, very well. That's a great kit. Fire. <laughs> it's like a hot tamale. <laughs> exactly. I'm a fan of this next kit. This next one is Vineyard, Beauty Berry. Ultraviolet and Glacier. Oh my God, look at that. I love Jesus. this kit. And this is Purple Cloud from Kokan. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's stunning. Her colors are beautiful. Yeah. So hopefully you like the kits that we made. And that's for the Stephen West Striation Valley shawl. And the only last thing that we want to show you is the kits we discussed earlier, right, yes. Diana? The, um, We're coming full circle. <laughs> yes, 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 we are. Full the Musselberg. The Musselberg hats, right? There you go. Do you want to hand them to me and I'll wait for you to. I'm just going to take four. I'm going to leave. I'll put them down here. I'll wait for you to come back with more. Okay. Whoops. I'll Sorry, Pam. So 
if you remember, we started with my Musselberg hat. I'm knitting the hat in the dyed in the wool, and I'm finishing it off for the second half in the yarn called Billow from <clears throat> Shibui. So we have new kits for you. Are there more? Yeah. Oh, goodness. I'll keep, I'm going to put them over here on the table. Okay. I'll start with this kit here. This one here is called Levitate, which is absolutely stunning. Look at this color palette in there. It goes from fuchsia to pink to coral, yellow, green. And we thought about finishing it off in the caper, which is stunning. So you'll see like a little lip of the caper at the bottom of this skein. And then when you fold it over, you'll basically get the caper as a band. Love that kit. So these kits are brand new. I think we were able to do two. Well, not all of them have two. Some of them are one because we sold a bunch from last week's live. <clears throat> so if there's a kit that you like, I highly recommend you getting it. Yeah. And if you wanted to curate your own, we did put all the stock of the billow on the website. Correct. You can curate your own kit. Right? Yes. So this is another one. It's light years and suit, which is lovely. Next kit is Castaway and Deep Water, which is gorgeous. You can see the Deep Water picks up the dark teal that's in the Castaway. This we were able to rebuild. I think this sold, right? Mm -hmm. This me and Caper, so that we were able to restock. This next colorway is Velvet with Sugar High. This Sugar High is so different from the one that it we've is. seen. It is. It is. I know. I My know. goodness. But look at that. We had sold one. As a matter of fact, it was uh, Shades of Earth, right, that we sold, and we, we couldn't restock it because the, we have the billow, but the Shades of Earth doesn't look like the other Shades right. of Earth. So, so what happens is, is that when we do these pairings, if the color does not coordinate right. well, yeah. we don't like to just say we – if we get a bag of five, let's say, sugar high, mm. if they don't all coordinate, we won't say we'll you can make though. five uh -huh. kits – it well, that's like work. we could have made that Shades of Earth kit, but it with another it color, wouldn't right. have looked good. Um, this is Grumpy that's Birds fabulous. with Tar. How pretty is that? Nice basic gray. This one here is called Happy Pill with Deep Water. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a great kit. Mm -hmm. This is a Paprika with Holy Toledo. Look at that, guys. <laughs> another <laughs> fiery kit. Yep. This one is Dirty Little Secret with Paprika. This one is Ranunculus with a uh, suit. Pretty is that. This one here is Wallflower and Velvet. This is uh, the Family Jewels with Paprika. Look at oh, that. That's spoken for. Oh, is it? Yes. Patty wanted that one. I think we can make one. Whatever. Uh, sorry that's okay it was on that I pile. think there is an, there's another there's more. family jewels because okay. I picked it up before okay um, this is pop click oh, look at this that's that's pretty stunning deep water with deep water Go ahead, Diana. this is wild horses and pollen oh, that's another one. winner this is a onesie this is Komodo it's an old color love it with um, velvet velvet look at that how pretty that's that stunning. is yeah, that, that's definitely one of a, a onesie onesie. And this one? Yep, last but not least. It's uh, Midsummer with Ivory. Beautiful. Very soft. So you can see the possibilities are endless. You know, we have so many different colors. Um, whatever you like, you can certainly put together if, if that's your thing. Like they could do that over there with Suraz. Which one? That pink one there. This? Yeah. No? Couldn't they put that with the purple if they want? Oh, with velvet. With velvet, yeah. Look this is Dear Diary and velvet. You, could do you can that. curate. That's of course gorgeous. You can. It's another one you can do. That's gorgeous. So, again, you can only do so many. <laughs> there are lots of colors in the spin cycle to Absolutely. choose from, right? And um, feel I, free. Uh, yes. Okay. I was going to say, feel free if you wanted to pick up a skein of billow if you had dyed in the wool in your stash, by yeah. all means, you can do that as well. Yeah. Uh, stock is limited. We have it as long as we have it. That's correct. It's a discontinued yarn. Uh, 
I feel like I'm sitting on a little treasure because yeah, it is, it is. it's discontinued and it's still magnificent. It is a nice shawl. Uh, has like a core, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. That's what the is... cotton. 41 cotton, 35 baby alpaca, and 24 merino. Beautiful. It the, says... The white cotton core. A yeah. crackle, the fire speaks, and yet I only hear song. What does yeah. that mean? I don't know. Do they all say the same thing? Yeah. Yep. yep. There you go. And I have to say, Dinah, that um, has nothing to do with knitting. <laughs> Dinah shared with me her her son's sourdough starter. Yes. And that's what I did last week. I fed it. It was like my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My sourdough starter. And I did make uh, a sourdough banana bread. I Which we sampled. A, a banana bread using the starter right. is what it was. Oh, right. It wasn't a sourdough. Yeah, it, it was a sourdough it. starter banana bread. Because many times you have discard and you don't know what to do with it. So that, It was delicious. We had it one. right before we started. It was a yummy. It was good, right? Yes, it was a delight. Thank you. So we're going to have to have treats now. Yes. Do you have the recipe? Yeah, I do. I'm Maybe we'll post you. a link. Yes. Yeah, I'll give it to Maybe you. what I'll do is I'll share the link I will say it was a mistake in the recipe. She has all the ingredients, right? And I'm making it. I'm very organized. I've got my dry, my mashed banana. And I'm looking. I said, wait a second, but there's an egg. Where does the egg go? And I'm reading it. And re she did not mention where to add the egg. Now, it was but just assumed? She probably left it out, you know. So usually you would add that with your wet stuff. You, mm -hmm. know, you put it with the wet stuff. And, and I had just started it. adding the dry and I like made a little well like pasta <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I mean if if you do make it and you see that I mean that's you know baking 101 you know that you would add that you know with the liquids that you would see it there's also a recipe for brownies isn't that interesting yes I'm very excited and as Diana was saying you know the um uh the sourdough starter is good for your gut health it is so let's see. We should do all how all. we feel. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep that sad. I tell you, I probably gain ten pounds no. after I make this stuff because there's always something I have to make. But I told Diner I fed it last night, and this morning it was beautiful. It was just ready to be made into something. Well, you didn't tell them that you moved the jar. You changed. Jars. I changed jars and I added more. Yeah, I, I realized I wasn't adding enough, so I added more because I've been watching different things, and it was beautiful this morning. But I put it in the refrigerator. She had to let it rest. <laughs> She's getting carried so away. Because I had to rest, right? right? Too funny. Anyway, so thank you, Zach. I have to say thank you so much. And Mom, because you made sure I got it. Yes. Right? I took care of you. You did. Um, I, speaking of Zach, he's actually, he just called. We're making pizza. Oh, so is he, he making wants to know. Did he make yes. the dough? My mom made the dough, actually. What does she make it out of? She's the yeast? Does she do yes, a yeast? Yes, the yeast dough for a the yeast pizza. Dough. We're not doing the sourdough for pizza. So <clears throat> they're waiting for me to cook We have the pizza. to go. She's getting, you, you're cooking it. <laughs> well, we're cooking it at my mom's house. Oh, you're doing it yes. at mom's house. Oh, nice. My nice, dad nice. had that brick oven built oh, in the back. Oh, you have a brick yeah, oven. Yeah, so we're going to cook it. Is it outside? It. It's outside. So nice. The, I think that's what the plan is. I mean, we've been podcasting, so I don't know. Well, it was so warmer know. out today. Yeah. It was warmer out, so you could do that. Well, enjoy your pizza. Thank you. So we won't see you next, well, when will we see them next? We, yeah. In two weeks. Okay, so we'll do it in two weeks. Yes. Then. We'll miss you. <laughs> knit, knit, knit. Let's see what we get done. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Have a wonderful fortnight. Oh, look at you. Fancy, like fancy fortnight. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.